Hey everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the package dependencies for Yelp Camp. The reason why is because since the videos for Yelp Camp have been recorded, there have been some major revisions to a few of the packages and the code in Yelp Camp will throw some errors. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is in a terminal window, you're going to want to install a global dependency called npm check updates. And to do that, you do npm i dash g npm dash check dash updates. Hit enter. Let it install. And once it installs, you can type in ncu. And this will show you all of the changes and updates. And you can see that dot env has a big major change going from version 8 to 16. But that doesn't matter because that doesn't break anything that we've done. Um, <clears throat> Connect Mongo is going from version 3 to version 4. That does have a breaking change. Helmet going from 4 to 5 has a breaking change. And Mongoose going from 5 to 6 has a breaking change. So to update your package JSON file, type in ncu-u. And then type in npmi to install the dependencies. Or the updated dependencies actually. And going back to the terminal where I've got the app running, the first error that it throws is for the Mongo store. And to fix that, you delete the session right here at the at line 22, just remove where it says session. And then down here, where we're creating the store, instead of it saying Mongo, or instead of it saying URL, we're going to type in Mongo URL. When you save that, now it's going to bring up another error that's saying use create index and use find and modify are no longer supported. So we come back up here to the database, right here at line 26, and where it says you. Use create index, we'll delete that. And then use find and modify, we'll delete that. Save that. And now it's looking like everything's running. If we go to our app, refresh the page, you're gonna see an error that says current user is not defined. This has nothing to do with the code itself. This has everything to do with the update with Mongoose and the session. So this is really easy to fix. It's a little bit of a pain, but it's easy enough to fix. In your terminal, type in Mongo. Type in show DBS to show your databases. And then select the one that you're using. I'm using the one that says Yelp Camp, so we're going to type in use Yelp Camp. And then we're going to type in show collections to see which one we need to remove. And we need to remove the one that says sessions right here. So what we do is we type in db sessions dot drop hit enter and it'll say true when it says true that means it's been deleted we can type in exit to get out of that come back over here switch back to our browser and now when we refresh it works the app's loading back up I can log in but we have another problem The map's not showing and none of the pictures are showing. So if I go to inspect, it's not throwing any errors in the console for Visual Studio Code. So if I go to the console here, it's showing that this is related to cores or cross ordering resource policy. And it's really confusing because I'm using Firefox right now and I spent 30 or 40 minutes trying different things through Helmet when it came to this, the cross origin resource policy. And then I happened to go to Google for whatever reason and looked at it. And this was giving me a completely different error. And it was saying that it was for COEP. COEP stands for cross origin and better policy. So I went to GitHub, found Helmet, looked in their issues, and someone, had already, someone else had already had this issue. And they showed us how to fix it. And it's a really easy fix. We're going to go back, we're going to scroll down here to where we're setting up Helmet. So on line 77 where it says app.useHelmet, open up some curly braces and type in cross 
origin embedder policy. Set that to false. Save it. Go back to your browser. And go back to Firefox. Refresh. And now everything's working. We can view. We can write a review if we want to. Go to the campgrounds. We can create a new campground. Everything's up and running again. I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment. Subscribe. That way you guys are updated with the newest videos. And the next video will actually be for updating um, Bootstrap to the newest version and fixing any changes that need to be made. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.